For this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the discussion boards. A discussion board is designed to contribute to the development of your cognitive and critical thinking skills. It allows time for students for, for in-depth reflection on course topics. It helps facilitate exploratory learning by allowing students to review and respond to the work of others. To access the discussion board, go to Tools, click Discussion Board, and here you're going to see all the discussion boards that have already been created. If there are no discussion boards in existence, then this box will be blank. To create a form, click Create New Form. Give it a name. In this box, you're going to post the description of the discussion. The discussion board feature allows participants to carry on discussions online at any time of the day or night, with no need for the participants to be logged into the site at the same time. The discussion is recorded on the course site for all to review and respond at their convenience. So for the grading options, you can go to no grading form, grade discussion form, grade threads. And here you see a form and the thread. So the discussion form is the overall category that contains one or more threads. So a form is equivalent to a folder uh, which contains a collection of one or more discussion topics. You post the discussion topics and each post within the topic is called a thread. So that's a big difference between a form and a thread. Give it a due date. And the display until and the due date are different. So this is the due date. So if students turn in on the 26th, then that means that the students will show as late. If you want the display date and the due date to be the same, then just adjust manually adjust the dates. For viewing threads or replies, uh, you have two options. The standard view, which students are allowed access to all of the threads that have been posted, and participants view, which is participants must create a thread in order to view other threads in this forum. As I said, by default, the standard view has is always clicked. Subscribe. Subscription to a discussion board, students will receive an email that will alert them uh, when a peer or you as the instructor has replied to their threads. By default, it, it's click, this one is click, which is allows members to describe to forum, include links to post. Create and edit. So by default, you have things that are created, allow members to create new threads, allow file attachments, allow users to reply to quotes. So you have three things by default that are clicked. Additional options, allow post tagging, allow members to rate posts. Uh, by default, these are not checked. Once you've finished, click Submit. When you're ready to publish the discussion form, you're given two options. You can link to the discussion board page, which if you do that, it looks like this. So whenever a student clicks on the page, it'll show all of the discussion forms that have been created. If you want to spe select a specific discussion form, you may do so. If you click one of these options, so we're going to click Unit 3 Discussion, click Next. Since you already have a display after and a display until, you don't really need this option. You can click it if you want to, but since it's already clicked within the discussion form that you created for Unit 3, you don't need to do that. Click Submit, and your Unit 3 discussion has been displayed. So students will see Create a Thread, they'll click that, create a subject, and post their comments there. This has been a quick demonstration of discussion boards within Blackboard.